Today I am going to teach you how to design a business card for your business. Remember we did the logo design for the fashion business and this is the logo under recent design on Canva. If you don't have the Canva app, please download from Play Store or Apple Store. This is the logo that we designed. And I said you should keep in mind the colors you used. We have downloaded the design of this logo. Now on the colors you used, this is how you can make it work for your other stationaries. And we are starting with business card now. You click on the red. Remember we use the red color. Every color has a code. Every color shade has a code. How do you know the color shade of this red? You click on the needle that has the red thread under it. Now click on the red color. Then click on the plus button on the different color grading by the right left hand side. When you click on it, it is going to bring the color code. The color code is hashtag FF1616. You tap on it and copy it, pressing it down. Then click on copy. Then you can go and add it to, if you have Swift key, you can pin it down. If you don't have, go and use your notes on your phone. So if you click on notepad, you can decide to copy it here and keep it here. Okay, so remember you have the red. That is the main color that is different. That is the main color that is different there. We already know white and black, so the shade is not uh, necessary for you to keep the code. White and black is white and black. So you want to go back to... your templates and look for business card you go down to the templates these are the templates that i showed you in the previous video if you want to understand how you can use template better and how you can use canva the introduction to canva you can check my previous video on branding your business with canva introduction look for business card if you go down there is difference between cards and business card so this is business card for business card you have different types you look here and look at the one that fits in with what you want to do so remember our logo we have our logo already so this is what you want to do you want to put the logo on your business card and also put your details on the other side so your business card is going to have two sides so you want to make your business card as simple as possible i like this business card this company logo of claudia Alves. so let us try to use this because as i've read Ours have a red color, white and black. So let's try if we can use this. We click on this. Remember, you can be creative with yours. It does not necessarily mean that you will use this template exactly the way it is. But let's take a look around and see what we have in this. Let's take a look around and see what we have in this logo. And see how we can adapt it. So for this now, I am going to try to adapt it to my test so let me start with the color i can click on this ash color and click on i have clicked on this and click on color and change it to black remember our color is white and black so let's check this shade of red here i have clicked on it it is going to bring color 
so this is what you are going to do click on the plus button you see that the color code here is different so you want to tap on it and change it cancel it and change it to the former color code that we had now we have the hashtag ff1616 you can go and copy your color code from your notes it has given us the right color now so this is the color code that we have different from this color code here on the company logo so what i want to do now is i want to delete this delete this delete this i will now insert our logo remember we have our logo i'll click on plus remember anything you want to add you click on plus then click on uploads and i can also click on gallery but i have it on uploads i click on this then i can drag it here and increase the view try to center it always so this is it if you put it this way it's not center try to center it now remember that it is touching this red arc so what you want to do is click on it then come down this way and look for position if you click on position click on backwards so that it can go behind that red arc backward simple if you want it to come forward you click on forward let's say i want to put it on this right side i'll just drag it to this point you see it is under that black so click on forward again it's coming forward click on backward then drag it if i want to keep the design this way i'll keep it this way let's say i want to create the design this way then i tap it and go to position and click on backward i want it at the back so i center it i hope you understand it is centered now this is key key cloth here so for it to be visible very well i increase it now we have our logo here that is fixed already now the phone number that is fixed already now the the name the phone number so we can put um claudio apps let's say your name you click on this claudio apps then click on edit then let's put your name as um remember what you are seeing here is the way the name is written one is bold one is in bold kiki let's say your name is kiki then you want to make this bold so what you just do is go to want to assume this is the name then the font this is the font if you want to change the font just come here and use this font let's say you want to use this font okay or want to use another font let's look for another font i like leak gothic a lot so and i can still change let me look for another font to create a difference good so i'm using this font now then i can make it bold by clicking on format if you click on format you can click on the big b and make it bolder so if i want to add my second name you cannot do it on the same thing on the same letter so i'm going to click on copy here so which is the name here i'm going to click on plus here then i bring it to the front of kiki and try to align it very well 
then I edit let's say the name is Kiki Alvin so and I don't want this to be bold so what I just do is the same this is the same font so what I want to do now is click on Alvin and go to format and click on the board it's going to reduce the boldness yes so it's not the same boldness this is different this is different if i want to decide to use another font for the alvin so what i do is i click on the alvin and click on font and look for another font to use so i can use lead gothic at this time yes so if i want to change everything to lead gothic i will click on change all but i don't want to do that i click on cancel and i have kiki alvin so the two names are there so what is the role i click on it edit and then i write um creative designer okay then go back if you think this is small you can enlarge it so that you can see it better then you can click on the phone number so on these ones this is how you want to do it you can see that everything is grouped together the reason is because if it's grouped together you can move it around all together so that it won't stress you don't forget the alignment see it has to align not like this it has to align like this you will see you always see a line that tells you you are correct this line too is saying you are correct fine this is saying you are correct depends on where you want it to be but it is not really correct this way because the icon is not sitting well with the address so you want it to be like this so what you do is you ungroup so that you can touch each and every one of them click on ungroup I will teach you how to group it back when you click on, on group you can click on each icon now on its own you see I can now move each icon if I want to change this phone and I don't want this phone I have clicked on the phone icon so what I just do is I will click on add and I'll look for a phone on under elements here elements i look for phone phone icon these are many phone icons you can use many phone icons. i can use this i can use this i can use anyone here but don't let us waste each other's time let us leave it like that so what i will just do is click on the phone number edit and change it to whatever i want to change it to i can say 0810065 blah 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 then if it is just one number you can see that this is going upper than where it's supposed to be i can bring it down to center it this is telegram or message anyway so if you want to message hello at so, so, so the same way you edit you write what you want to write address so that address you can change the icon if you want click on the icon then click on plus then you can click on look for anything that looks like it address icon search you see it's going to bring location for you so it depends on you see this under house location whatever whatever we can decide to use this if we use this now it has brought it up so you will now be wondering where will you put this so you have to just come like this just bring it down a little bit bring it here then click on color remember to put your icon or your highlight on it click on color and change it to white mm -hmm. then you can move it click on this one here we want to remove that one so as we have click on this you can click on delete replace it with this now let me tell you the professional thing to do this doesn't fit this because you can see that this icon are thick ones so this looks very different so if I want to use a an icon that is in uniformity with this, I'll just remove this delete, then click on plus, look for message. 
message good I, this is a thick one too so i can decide to use this you see it's bigger i can change click on color change to white then this is thick too mm -hmm. i will delete so let's look for a better one on message yes we are going to look for something tiny too like that So let's look for something very tiny thin message icon so okay let's pick this this looks better so color change to white then mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this seems to go in parallel with it it's fine so but let's remove it you click on back 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 yes let's leave it like this okay then you click on your address and change whatever address you want it to be okay so we have the name we have the creative designer the role we have the number we have the email or instagram if you want to go instagram just click on this icon let me zoom in click on this icon click plus then click whatsapp mm -hmm. So these are the logos you can use the icons you can use then instagram this is instagram okay let me use this then so i change color to white then i click on this message icon and because this is nigeria this is what works usually people don't use emails for small business so you want to put this then you want to click here and click edit cancel put um what is the name of our the name of our business kiki we can put kiki clothiers kiki clo yes underscore or ng depends on the name of your brand the handle of your brand so you can just drop it here make sure it is aligning with the phone number you see the same straight line not like this the same straight line and here too it is aligning with the phone number it is aligning with the instagram icon so that is how you do it your address to you put your address okay let's check this red icon here we can decide it to we can decide to change it to something like this that is where creativity comes in and i can click on it and decide it's just a circle you see it's just this black and this black and red is are just two circles that were changed yes you can see that this red is the same red that we used on the kiki's glutias needle icon yes so we have our business card already so let's go to the second one so this is our second the back of the logo so what you this is very simple to do so what we just do is delete this delete there's something in between here yes here you don't need it you delete so this is a pure white background so at the back what you want to do is you want to put your logo click on plus and click on remember we want to click on uploads and click on your logo 
you want to make it big so that it is very glaring then you want to put your company's motto and remember to make it aligned to like this so you want to put your company's motto you click on plus and then text then add a subheading click on it and remember the fonts we used before so click on font don't forget your font matters we use um league gothic in one of the fonts so let us make it bigger and edit then we put um pride of women yes so you see that the, the black is very thick so we don't want it to be very thick so let us go and see if we can change it format and make it like this so we can decide to reduce it and make it like this yes pride of women so let it go to the back of that red um, thread so we are going to click on position we are looking for position yes position backward okay it's not working that way let's put it forward then okay so let me click on the color so that I can make it less thicker color then what you now do is click on plus that is where you see the gradient then you shift it a little bit yes good shift it away from the darker part of the black yes so it looks a little bit faded and it's not overshadowing it's not overshadowing the blackness of other ones yes so it's fine Kiki Clotia, Pride of Women. Okay. So we have our business card. This is the back. This is the front. This is the front. This is the back. So what you want to do now, this is where we want to get to. Now we want to get to the point where we can print it. So what you now do is you go up here. Click here. Click on download so instead of downloading png you want to click on down remember our logo was downloaded as png you want to click on pdf print yes best for print two pages if you click on two pages page one page two you click on done click on download with this the only thing you need to do is to give it to your designer or to your printer we have it already. let me go to under my files and check my downloads you will see our logo yes this is the logo this is the business card very simple now don't forget the lesser the colors the more beautiful it is the lesser the color the more beautiful your business card your logo is we have just three colors so i like to use primary color and just one secondary color that makes your branding beautiful you want to use the kind of color that's going to make a lot of sense for your branding so that is how you do a business card for yourself then let us move to how to do a stationery called letter headed that you can use for proposals or anything if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel and you can share it with your friends turn on the post notification bell so that you can get more notifications whenever i post new content thank you